Some breaking updates, NCPCR, which is a child rights body, writes to chief secretaries of all states and union territories recommending conducting a detailed inquiry of all government funded and recognized madrasas that are admitting non-Muslim children and admit all such children in schools subsequent to the inquiry in formal schools. In fact, also recommends mapping of all unmapped madrasas. So that's the breaking update that we are getting. NCPCR, which is a child rights body, writes to chief secretaries of all states and union territories recommending conducting a detailed inquiry of all government funded or recognized madrasas that are admitting non-Muslim children and admit all such children in formal schools subsequent to the inquiry. Also recommends mapping of all unmapped madrasas. All right, we have uh, Priyanka Kanungo on the phone line with us. Uh, in fact, my question to you is uh, NCPR, NCPCR has of course sought inquiry into madrasas admitting non-Muslim uh, children. Take us through the details and content of this letter that uh, NCPCR has written uh, to states and union territories. What sort of triggered this move? The madrasas are institution established under the provisions of Article 29 and 30 of Constitution. It is the choice of community to establish institution for their children, for the children of the community. There is no need to admit any non-Muslim child in the madrasa because madrasas are primarily institutions meant for religious education. Why do they want to teach Muslim religious education, Islamic religious education to the children of other, other communities? So it is recommended to remove all non-Muslim children from the madarsa. Also, we have recommended to all chief secretaries to map out all unmapped madarsas. That's a different issue. As per the information available with LCPCR, there are 1.1 crore children who are attending unmapped mothers and deprived from their fundamental right to education. So we have recommended to map out all unmapped mothers and enroll those children in fundamental education also. Also, um, you know, if, if I were to ask what sort of triggered this move, was there any sort of uh, study or statistics that had been done as a result of which uh, you wrote to all the states? What sort of triggered this move to sort of, uh, you know, uh, say that a detailed a detail inquiry should be conducted? Uh, you know, what is the data telling you? What is the statistic as far as admission of non-Muslim children in madrasas are concerned? See, we have received complaints. Okay. We have received complaints from one state and we are continuously receiving such kind of complaint that from that particular state that children of uh, Hindu community, especially tribal children of Hindu communities, are enrolled in recognized madrasas, those madrasas which are funded by the state government and uh, they are being taught religious education as per, uh, as per Islamic rituals. So we have recommended this to all chief secretaries. If there is any lacuna in there, it is also going on regarding this. So they can inquire and uh, remove all the non-Muslim children from these schools, these mothers. All right, so you've recommended that all such children should get admission to schools uh, which gives formal education post-inquiry. Now, is there any sort of legal action that you're also seeking? Yeah, we have recommended that if any kind of irregularity are being done by this type of madrasas, the states can take the penal action, the administrative action, whatever as per their states' procedures, they can take action. All right, thank you, Mr. Kanungo, for joining us. That's NCPCR Chief thank Priyanka. You. Konongo, in fact, NCPCR writing to chief uh, secretaries of all states and union territories recommending conducting a detailed inquiry of all government funded and recognized madrasas that are admitting non-Muslim children and also says admit all such children in formal schools sub subsequent to the inquiry. We have uh, Niyamika on the phone line with us. Niyamika, we just heard Priyank Kanungo who was uh, speaking about what exactly triggered this move. 
take us through the details of uh, this particular uh, letter that has been written to NCPCR. What are some of the demands that have been placed and any sort of uh, response coming from chief secretaries of states or union territories? What next as far as states are concerned? Well, that's absolutely right. As a letter has been uh, by NCPCR chief all Right, we seem to have uh, some issue connecting to Niyamika at the moment, but uh, the news that we are getting is that NCPCR Chief Priyank Kanugu, who just spoke to Mira now some time back, has in fact written to Chief Secretaries of all states and union territories, asking them to conduct a detailed inquiry of all government-funded or recognize madrasas that are admitting non-Muslim children. In fact, this is after several complaints were received by NCPCR, which is a child's right body. He also recommended that all such children should get admissions to schools for formal education post-inquiry.